Just double checking the date. June 11th, 2022. It is officially the opening day of the best season here in the state of Pennsylvania. So I thought to myself when I woke up this morning, you know what, we just gotta go out there and shoot a very casual video. Main objective of the day, we're going to be testing a new setup. I got here with me my new St. Croix Avid Rod Medium Heavy. Two pieces that I have never used before, at least not this particular one, right? I have owned the Avid series in the past, so we're going to see if the quality of these rods is it still the same or if it has decreased over time albeit i do put my faith on st croix so i'm pretty sure it's going to be banging and to top it off we are also going to be using some edm lures that's right i said it european domestic market i got with me here an entire selection of capelan lures right it's a brand that our fellow folks in europe use a lot so we're going to be running pretty much up and down this canal, casting everywhere, covering a lot of water, doing all the things that the bass anglers usually do in hopes of catching that trophy, grain fish. All right, you know what, enough talking. Let, let, let's just go do it, right? Oh my, oh, okay, that was first blow up of the day. Picro though, not bass. Oh man, Kapalan, Kapalan. Took the whole thing under two. Not bad, not bad though, we got some action. That's what it counts at the end of the day. You cannot make this up. Look, look, it mocks me. It mocks me, not only it mocks me, it is swims right in front of me too. Y'all see that? It just swims right in front of me. Not a worry in the world about two pounds golden rainbow trout. The one day, man, that I'm here fishing for the bass, you know? Come over, there's a golden rainbow trout just swimming around, right? Stocked trout waters. Right, anyways, I've been out here for about only 10 minutes or so. Caught one tiny chain pickerel, the Ezox Niger, on the little Kepelan popper. But the good news is, I did miss another two or three top water bites. So, you know, they're pretty active. Well, we haven't found the bass yet, you know. Apparently, only the golden rainbow trout. So, we're gonna cover some more water. And, uh, man, I'm so pissed right now. I should have brought my power bait, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but back there, um, all right, deep it goes. Okay, that was shorter than I expected, but... Got him. Oh, no, it's not a bass, is it? It's a pickerel again. Son, Woo. why is there so many pickerel? Ay, 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 can you just uh, unhook by yourself? Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, the irony. Best opening day. We out here catching all the pickerel. Can you believe that? Well, I've been leaving this dude inside the water over here, but it is time to unhook it. Oh, whoa, 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 easy. Oh, super aggressive fellas. You definitely need to be very careful with these. Get a nice grip on the fish. Oh, I see. Top of the mouth on the treble hook. Okay, oh man, mango it, pretty good too. I don't like when this kind of stuff happens. There we have it. It's not rockets, as a lot of people around here call them. Okay, chain pickerel, Ezox Nija. Back it goes. Boy, where are these bass? I mean, it's not like I tied on the popper out here trying to catch pickerel, you see what I'm saying? We're trying to find the bass. I'm trying really hard, but it's been already about 1 hour 15 minutes in this fishing session and we are getting a lot of blow-ups, but just no bass. 
a lot of juicy little holes amongst the vegetation here. Mm, did you see that? Oh, I missed it. But like I said, a lot of juicy holes. Oh, came back for it. Oh, I missed it, but it was another pickerel. It's okay. Where are the specimens? Best opening day, we are out here catching pickerel. <gasps> oh, son. Yes, sir. That's a bass, isn't it? Come on. Oh, but it's a tiny one, though. Hey, it's a bass regardless, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, at this point, I'm just happy to see what, you know? Kaplan, boy. All right, all right, little fella. So, look at that, huh? Kaplan. Now we just need to catch its uh, great-grandfather, that's all. Yeah, that piece of wood there looks juicy. Beautiful, you see that? You all know how I just came back from Connecticut, eh? Fishing from the boat, catching a lot of bass out there. Especially at the Bastion Lake in CT, right? I know that it is a different game, boat versus shore. But I tell you all what, I learned a lot from that fishing trip. And one thing that I learned in particular was the popper. I used to pop the stuff really hard, cast it out there, and pop it as hard as I could because I thought, you know, I'm attracting the fish, right? And as I was popping hard one day, Ben was like, no, no, bro. He was like, you gotta pop it small for the bass. For the pickerel, I guess, or other species, you pop it hard, it's fine to attract the attention. But for bass in particular, if you pop it too hard sometimes, especially in areas that are highly pressured, the bass are actually going to get spooked. So, you know, there's an art behind doing this kind of stuff, too. Well, all right, enough talking, enough explaining here. I'm going to keep covering a lot of cover and a lot of structure, too, right from the sunken stuff there in hopes of catching something a little bit nicer. There we go. Oh yeah, a little bit better now. Sir, yes sir, right next to the lilies. Oh, first solid one of the day. Mm-hmm, this one, I'm gonna take a photo. Boy, on the popper, there's just something about top water that makes it very exciting, you know? Yeah, look at that. All right, a little bit better now. On the Capelan. Beautiful. I've been keeping this fish inside the water. You know, it is not about the size of the fish per se. It is the top water bite. You know what I'm talking about? Top water bite, not to mention, we are not exactly fishing from a boat. So it is really like that shore bite that you just go out there and you got to explore, right? And cast everywhere. That's the key. All right, there we go. Our first bass of the day. I got the Eurotechno ruler out here real quick, just to do a quick measure, see how big this little fella is, okay? We got here 13 and a quarter. Beautiful, it's got a mangled mouth, probably from someone fishing, I don't know what, back in the days, but all right, there you have it, okay? Opening day of bass fishing, our first one, I mean, first decent one of the day came right next to the lily pads over there. All right, I was going to change lures because I still have a bunch of capillan stuff over here, but I like the top water so much and I am confident, or at least I want to give it a try, right? With the top water. So we're gonna continue with the top water. Oh yeah, this little area over here actually looks quite good. Yeah, that's what's up. Pop it right around there. You just never know when you're going to get a huge hit. As you all can see, we have left the cover back there. All the spatter dogs are back there. Here, it is more like brush piles and the structure. 
and the quality of the fish over here is actually a little bit higher so it is not so much about the numbers right you don't get a lot of fish around here but if you do get a bite usually it is like a better fish so I'm really placing my hopes on the Capelan I don't even know how to pronounce the name of the brand I'm gonna be sincere right but I'm really placing my hopes on the little popper here all right Oh my lord, sir, yes sir. I hope it's a bass. I hope it's not a pickerel. This one's solid. This one's solid. Oh, it's a pickerel. Stink, bro. Ah, oh, solid. I thought it was a bass. Look at that, it's a pickerel. No, this is a nice pickerel though. It's a nice pickerel, but dang. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's land it over here real quick. Dang. Son, it's a medium. It's a medium heavy. He can handle it. Yeah. yeah. Nice Boy, look at that fatty. Man, but it's not a bass though. <laughs> but it's a fatty though. Okay, let me do a quick unhook here. Okay, okay, okay. Let me uh, use the pliers over here to unhook this beast. I've been giving it some water. Sand Croix rod, pretty solid. I like that. Medium heavy, look at that. That's good, that's good. All right, solid. Put it on top of the Eurotech ruler right over here that I got wet. Do a very quick unhook. Let's see how many inches this baby is. Wow, okay, 20, 21. 21 inches over here I'm not really gonna take a photo of it but 21 incher from the Delaware Canal okay all right there you have it chain pickerel okay I really thought it was a bass but boy regardless you know I'm actually quite happy that that showed up too I mean top water can't beat that you know it was like Ooh, you know I saw the blow up I was like oh okay all right <laughs> all right <laughs> we still got about an hour an hour and a half to fish out here so a lot of more things can happen I, I, i'm not that worried at the moment hmm okay okay between those two first nothing now we gotta do between those two on the left all the way back there to the end of the trunk. Wow, I'm surprised, nothing? Okay, maybe one more cast over there, a little bit more to the left before we call it. Beautiful. Wow, that looks so good, right? I mean, that looks like textbook style. Sometimes I'm so surprised that there are no fish in areas like this. Mm, that looks extremely good. Oh my! Oh, that's the thing about top water, folks. That's the thing about top water. Did you all see that? Top water, you are constantly watching your lure and waiting for that next blow up. That was a pickerel though. Okay, there's a fish around there, at least one. Oh, dang, I missed it again. How? How did I miss it again? I don't know if it was the same fish or not, but again, pickerel came up, got it. Oh, okay, Leo. Relax, Leo, relax. Well, that sucks. That one is definitely not coming back. Missed it one time, does one thing. Oh, little blow up. Oh, it's not the same fish. It's not the same fish. It's a tiny bass. <laughs> I'm telling you, sometimes the bass just gives a whoop. Not even a, wow, dude, short and fat 
ain't always bad. I mean, come on, this has got to be the shortest and fattest bass I've seen quite a while. I mean, come on, man. I don't want to use the terminology here on the YouTube channel, you know. I want to keep it PG-13, but you all will have to agree with me on this one here that, goodness gracious. Can't make that up. Cannot make that up. Short and fat. Ain't always bad. This is this is officially one of those, you know. Dang, alright. That's not the fish that we were looking for, but hmm. the most aggressive pickerel from today thus far dude that thing hopped outside of the water all right the thing the thing is staying on a piece of wood and they got the popper in its mouth super aggressive i'll see if i can get the wood outside of the water oh yeah i got the fish outside of the water dude <laughs> that's why i love top water that was definitely the sickest bite of the day i'll tell you all that much nice pickerel right over here oh don't even need the pliers for that one look at that huh a little bit smaller than the previous one over here right but man that thing lipped outside of the water to get the lure look at that nice pickerel delaware canal pickerel that is what's up the bass fishing may not be going too well today but hey at least we're having some fun out here, hey? Oh my lord! Big roll. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, how many today already, huh? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Let me unhook this one here real quick. Boy, it's a tinier one. Hopefully, I won't need the pliers for this one. Doesn't look like I will, which is good. Oh, man. There we go. I actually ended up needing the pliers. I'll take care of the stuff later. The release of the fish comes first. There you have it, huh? Number seven of the day, I think. And I think I'm about to call it because, I mean, the rain's coming and the forecast is really not looking that better for the afternoon. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, last tocasto, last cast, okay? Saddens me to say this, but I have run out of time. The rain kind of stopped out here too, and the action is still hot when it comes to the top water bite which makes me even sadder that I really have to stop and head back home. But the job and life responsibilities kind of call, right? So when that happens, well, it is what it is. I'm going to finish this video by saying three things over here. Well, number one, rather than saying I'm just going to leave the numbers over here on the screen, I really believe, as always, that the results speak for themselves. Number two, I am extremely glad to actually see, you know, that I went to Connecticut and I fished on the boat with Ben for a few days, got a bunch of bass and learned different techniques and tactics when it comes to bass fishing, right? And I am very, very happy to see that I was able to apply the knowledge to my local waters, you see? I kind of brushed up on the popper, came out today here on the Delaware River from shore, no boat, and man, we is laid the top water game, right? With the pickerel and the tiny bass. And number three, when it comes to the setup itself, I mean, what else can I say, you know? It is a new favorite of mine for sure. I'm happy with each component of the setup, okay? The St. Croix Avid is actually made in the United States, medium heavy. It handled our fish today pretty well, especially around 
all the cover and the pieces of wood out there, right? Pen Battle 2000 with Power Pro line. Man, I got a snag so many times today and I was actually able to get it back. The drag on the pen reel is magnific <laughs> magnificent when it comes to this kind of stuff. And finally, the Capellan, okay, popper, right? Well, it did what it was supposed to do. It popped. And I tell you all what, if you don't have one of these babies yet, they are available at the Eurotackle website, okay? www.eurotackle.net. You can go there and grab some. This one in particular, man, this one has seen some war today. This one is, is a veteran now, boy, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna keep it until one day I lose it. All right, it is time for me to head back home. We're going to, well, I am going to go to another state real soon and shoot some life listing multi-species videos for you all, eh? That's why I have to go, you know? So I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching this video. Tight lines and take it easy.